Hello Crossroads family and uh, welcome to another weekday devotion. This one on Monday evening of this week. It's an important week because it's leading up to the Sunday in which we are going to resume our public in-person worship services. You can see on the computer screen behind me, I hope you can read just a little bit of that, but you can go to our website and find the details about that. Uh, you'll see that we're gonna have two worship services, so our whole time schedule is changing. We have a worship service at 8.30, and then we also will have a worship service at 10.45, and we've spaced those out enough that we've got time to do the proper cleaning and preparation in between the services so that everyone can know that they are safe and uh, everything is cleaned up in preparation for those worship services. But as I'm thinking about uh, us getting back together again for those public in-person worship services, it really uh, speaks to my heart about how much I've missed being able to get together with all of you, to worship with you, to fellowship with you. And it's been something that's just been a real void in my life and, and I'm sure in your life as well. So it brought my heart and my mind to Paul's letter to the Philippians. In chapter 1, he talks about how much he's missed them and how he longed to be with them again. So I want to share a passage from you in Philippians chapter 1, verses 3 through 10. And here's what Paul said to them, and let it be a message to you, the church, from the staff here at Crossroads as well. Paul says, and we say to you, I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me, it is right for us to feel this way about all of you since we have you in our heart. For whether we are in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. Now, certainly we've not been in chains, we've not been in jail, but we have been in some have used the, the phrase of lockdown or isolation or social distancing. All of that at, at times can make us feel like we've been kind of in, uh, in church jail, not able to go and be in attendance with one another. We long for that day that's coming on June 14th when that can come to an end and we can still, we can resume then meeting together. Now, we'll still have to do the things that keep us safe and healthy, like the social distancing and all of those type of things. But at least we're able to resume and get back towards that normal that we're so used to, that we long for. We long for all of you to be able to be back here together with us. Paul goes on in verses 9 and 10 here. He says, and this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. As we've been going through all of this, that's been our prayer, that in spite of not being able to fellowship together, in spite of not being able to worship together, it's been our prayer and it continues to be our prayer that you continue to grow in your faith. And, and even it's our hope that it, because of these tough circumstances, these uh, difficult situations, that it's caused your faith, your trust, and your dependence upon God to increase, to grow. That your love for one another has been strengthened because we've been apart. So 
I just pray, we all have been praying here at the church, all of our leadership, praying for each one of you. We long to be back together again. We look forward to that. So be sure to check out our website, the one that you see behind us. You can go to Crossroads dash christian.org and find that and find all of the details we encourage you to read it and then beginning wednesday of this week after brad's devotion on wednesday evening you'll be able to go online to sign up to attend that worship service so check that out we look forward to seeing you god bless you all and we truly do long to see you again it's in christ that we gather it's in christ that we look forward to. It's in Christ that we find our hope. So let's go to him in prayer at this time. Father, thank you for the body of Christ, the fellowship that we have at Crossroads Christian Church. I pray that you'll continue to just cause each and every one of us to grow in our faith and our service, our trust in you. Help us to face all that's going on in our world today, all that we're dealing with, and through that, to rely upon you more and more and rely upon ourselves less and less. Father, we do look forward to June 14th when we can gather together, worship together. We just pray that through it all, you are glorified and that the name of Jesus Christ is exalted. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Look forward to seeing many of you on June 14th. God bless. Have a great week.